So I started learning that if you start to change your mindset versus it being like, oh my God, this sucks. I became a professional bud student. So I wasn't gonna leave until I graduated. So I started realizing if this is my home, this is what I am, I had to always reset the bar. I had to reset my new norm. There always had to be a new norm. So one thing we don't do is we don't have a new norm. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. This is your new norm. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. You, your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. And I started realizing if that's my mentality, this shit ain't hard anymore. <laughs> right. Your fucking new norm is you yeah. wake up, you get in the fucking cold water, yeah. you're gonna be here till the shit's fucking done. Whenever they say you're out, you get out. So my new norm, so I, I do that now today. My new norm now is if I'm doing a 200 mile run, your new norm now, man, you fucking are doing 200 fucking miles. The Roger that mentality. That's it, man. So at what point during this Bud's experience do the instructors start to take notice of you in a, in a way that separates you from the pack? Is it SBG or these guys that are like, they're starting to go, hey man, this, 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 this dude's cut a little bit differently. SBG noticed it. He noticed it in my second hell week. Uh -huh. Because I really, and this is no lie, I'm, I'm very open about my life, so I'm open about this. I really started to enjoy the fact of seeing what the human mind was capable of and seeing that what is so horrendous there's so much joy and glory in this shit. And when you see other alpha males, like, you know, SBG in the book, um, he's a, he was one of the hardest, I mean, one of the hardest guys in the SEAL teams. He's looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. You know, like, you know, like. Well, they start testing you. Like, they're like, let's play this out, right? And but, there, there's that story where he makes you swim out oh, to yeah, the boat. on my like, own, yeah. Wednesday night. And that fucked me up because I, like my knee was, you know, it was, it was broken, it was, it was fucked up bad, and it's Wednesday of Hell Week, and all the boat crews are past the surf zone, and I just got a, a Toradol shot in my knee, because I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, let's go, man, we're going. And um, it's fucking like, it's real late at night, and it was fucking raining, and the, the, the class is past the surf zone, and I'm still not a big fan of fucking water. The ocean is very unforgiving. And I had this big life jacket on, and, and SBG's like, hey, follow me, man. Should we run a mile down to where the boat crews were at out past the surf zone? I'm, I'm thinking, hey, we're going to wait for them to come on in. He goes, hey, man, get a Kim light. You broke a Kim light? Put on my hat and said, go out and fucking get them. And I was on my own. There was no, like, there was no, like, swim buddy. So, like, so I can buzz you for swim buddy. Yeah. And when he said that to me, I said, are you? In my mind, I said, this motherfucker. It's joking. He's got to be joking, man. It's well, he must have been thinking, like, I'm going to break this guy. Like, this is going to be the moment. I think that's what it was, but we, but we're now we're, we're, you know, we're, we're pretty tight now. And he said, no, that wasn't it at all. He said, you're one of the only people in my tenure at, as, a, as a BUDS instructor that I've ever done that with. He said, I knew a person like you would have found that as a challenge. And I had to dig deep because I didn't want to look at him and say, hey, man, I'm not doing that shit. Even though I think I could have because there was no swim buddy. Yeah. You know, you don't go out there Wednesday night after like 80 hours of Hell Week and you're like seeing stars and shit that, like, like, um, like during the daytime, you're seeing boats that aren't out there. I mean, you're hallucinating, you're all over the place. He sent me out there. I was like, okay, this is my time to show one of the baddest motherfuckers in the world that it's on. So I got my shit, man. I went out there and did it. And it was, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, I, I, I detail it well in the book, but it was, uh, it was a moment that I started realizing I'm starting to separate myself now. Yeah.